Hello, we are going to start uh, the topic KDS activity test. This is very important topic in various so uh, MCQs come on to this and it also helps in our day to day clinical aspects. Let us revise what actually the dental caries is. It is an irreversible disease that is progressive in nature with a multifactorial origin in which the calcified structure of the teeth is started to get demineralized in its inorganic portion and there is a destruction of the organic portion. Now caries activity terminology is referring to the increments how the active lesion of this caries over a time frame that we are considering here is progressing. So caries activity is basically the measuring how the progression of the carious lesion is in its speed. Now, the carious susceptibility is referred to the tendency of the host and the targeted tissue. Their tooth is affected by the process of the caries. This is considered as the susceptibility of the tooth here in this case to the lesion called caries. Okay, now caries activity test. Asia of the degree to which the local environmental challenges are posed off to the probability of occurrence of this carious lesion. It might be microbial growth or metabolism of the microbial pathological flora or the dietary effect like risk factors, right? Purpose of carious activity test is to identify the high risk group individuals helps us to decide the personalized preventive measure plans, monitor the effectiveness of the oral health, ensure a low level of the caries activity. This caries activity test allows us to indexify and aims at reducing the load of streptococcus mutans and lactobacilli. Ideal requisites of a caries activity test are number one, it should be valid and reproducible at the same time. Number two, the test should be a good correlation between the caries activity scores and the actual developmental symbolic activity of the caries lesion, which is simple in its nature and the outcome, the result is obtained rapidly. I, that is in hours, within hours. It should have a measurement of mechanism involved in the caries process basically so that it is applicable to any clinical setting without being an invasive in nature and it should be less expensive. First, we are going to talk about the activity and the susceptibility test. Caries activity tests are being classified as you can see on the scene in the count method and the evaluation of the virulence. The evaluation of the virulence are being enumerated further as the NIDER scolorimetric test, enamel solubility test, phosphatic calcium dissolution test, salivary reductase test. Count method basically counts out the colonies. For example, lactobacilli count test, streptococcus mutants level in the saliva, or the swab test, saliva buffer capacity test, or the Albans test. First, we are going to understand about the lactobacillus colony count test. It is basically framed onto the principle where we are estimating the number of the acidogenic and aciduric microorganisms in the saliva of the patient's mouth. We will culture it on the pepton agar plates and after inoculation of the sample, we will study the colony count. The selective media favoring the growth of the aciduric lactobacilli is the basis of the test here in this case. What equipments are being used? Saliva collecting bottles, paraffin, 29 ml of the saline, bench rods, agar plates, cubic counter, and pipettes. What we will do? We will collect the saliva in the chewing paraffin before the breakfast. And once the patient is chewing paraffin, the saliva will be produced, empty stomach, and it will be collected. It should be uh, vigorously shaken. It is diluted, and the undiluted samples are then spread evenly over a ragosa 
एसएलआर प्लेट व्हिच इज इनक्यूबेटेड फॉर अबाउट 4 डेज द नंबर ऑफ लैक्टोबैसिली कॉलोनीज व्हिच आर डेवलप्ड आर दिस काउंटेड इंटरप्रिटेशन इज ऑन द स्क्रीन ऑन टू बेसिस ऑफ व्हिच वी विल क्लासिफाई इट एज़ नो एक्टिविटी स्लाइट एक्टिविटी मॉडरेट एक्टिविटी और द मार्क एक्टिविटी टेस्ट only disadvantage related to it is in inaccurate in prediction of the onset of the caries it does not completely exclude the growth of other relative aciduric organisms it is only taking few minutes to do the test though the result takes several days next comes the nidar test nidar colorimetric test it measures the ability of the salivary microorganisms to form the organic acids which are basically from the medium of the carbohydrate classical formula of the nidar zagar per liter purified water is on the screen which you need to remember for your exams like it contains cecin or the pancreatic digestive juice yeast dextrose sodium chloride in some amount agar and bromocresterol green medium contains the indicator dye in this test where this dye is referred to as the formocresterol green which changes its color when ph drops to 5. Point from 5.4 to 3. 8 pH. Once, after chewing the paraffin saliva is collected, the tube of nidar regular plate is melted and then cooled to temperature 50 degrees centigrade. 0.2 ml of saliva will be spit onto the tube and mixed. As soon as the agar is solidified, it will put for the incubation. Amount of the acid produced by acidogenic organism is detected by the changes in the pH drop, and it will be. checked with the background of 24 hours 48 hours and 72 hours the rate of the color change from green to yellow is indicated of the degree of the caries activity test as you can see on the green performance from yellow to green on the screen it is relatively simple cost effective but time consuming method so it was in 1965 where granger et al gave us the swab test in swab test we are determining the oral flora uh, ability of the salivary microorganisms to form the organic acids from the carbohydrate medium in this also ph drop is taking place from 5.4 to 3.8 subsequently this swab uh, cotton swab which is taken from a particular tooth surface like buccal surface of the tooth is subsequently incubated in the medium the interpretation of the ph drop helps us to determine the caries activity test if it's post drop uh, below 4.51 ph then it's marked caries activity in this case streptococcus mutans levels in saliva it will measures the number of streptococcus mutan colonies which are formed units per uh, unit volume of the saliva in respect to the saliva and the plaque samples from discrete size it will include like proximal areas or occlusal fissures incubation is done on the mithas salivarius agar it is a strep selective streptococcus medium with that has an addition of high concentration of the sucrose and 0.2 unit bacitracin bacitracin is to suppress the growth of the most non mutants colonies so it is very selective in nature sample collection by the use of the tongue blades is done incubation for uh, 48 hours at 37 degree centigrade is then at uh, the gas mixture uh, enriched with carbon dioxide about the 95.5% percentages now interpretations of the level of the uh, mutants uh, is 10 raised to power 5 per ml saliva is acceptable streptococcus mutans screening test will be also referred to as the plaque tooth pick method it is a simple screening method in which dilution of the plaque sample on the streak on a selective culture media is done sterile tooth pick sterile ringer solutions platinum loops and mitis salivigris agar plates are used which contains sulfidimethine plaque samples are collected from the gingival 